Hello guys, I am Vijay Kumar Sethi and today I am going to discuss chemical reactions and equations that is the first chapter of class 10 science. In the lower classes we have discussed about physical changes and chemical changes. Whatever you discussed, these chemical changes in the lower classes, these are referred as a chemical reaction. So we can see a process in which some substances reacts and produces new substances with a different nature and identity is called a chemical reaction. There are number of examples from which we are familiar in our daily life like conversion of milk into curd, rusting of iron, fermentation of grapes, cooking of food, digestion of food, respiration, all these are the process in which some new substances are formed after the reaction is occurring. We can also see some examples from the chemistry lab and which we perform in the chemistry lab. Like these are burning of magnesium with dazzling white flame to form a white powder. And this powder is magnesium oxide. So we are taking the magnesium and when this burn, it means it reacts with the oxygen and it forms a new substance that is magnesium oxide. Next one is the reaction between zinc granules and dilute hydrochloric acid. This is a metal and when metal reacts with the dilute acid, it produces the hydrogen gas. So this again new substance is formed. That's why this is a chemical change or chemical reaction. Next one is the mixing of lead nitrate solution to potassium iodide solution. Now both solutions are colorless and when they are mixed to each other, we will get a yellow colored insoluble substance. So this insoluble substance form in any reaction that is known as precipitate. So these are the some examples of chemical changes or chemical reactions which may be performed in the chemist chemistry lab in the class 10. When a chemical reaction takes place, certain changes are there. So we can say a chemical reaction may take place with change in physical state. Now you can say that is if we take this example, third one example, that is lead nitrate is aqueous solution, potassium iodide is a aqueous solution, and this will form a one yellow color precipitate. That is this is insoluble. So you can say this lead nitrate, this is the aqueous. Aqueous means solution in water. This is potassium iodide. This is also aqua solution in water. And this is the yellow colored insoluble substance. This insoluble substance is referred as a precipitate. So we can say physical state is changed from liquid. We are giving this is a solid substance. This also occurs the change in color. You can say we will get the this. This is a yellow colored, yellow colored compound that is the lead iodide. The so change in color. Evolution of gas. If you see this second reaction. In this case, when zinc reacts with the hydrochloric acid, hydrogen gas is produced. So you can see this reaction is characterized by the production of gas. Change in temperature. If you see the same reaction, that is reaction between zinc granules and hydrochloric acid, the container in which this reaction is taking place, it becomes hot. It means some heat is evolved. So this is change in temperature. In some reaction, temperature may increase or temperature may decrease depending on the type of reaction. So these are the some examples of some reactions and which are occurring with these changes. Now, how can we write a chemical reaction? There are the number of ways by which we can write a chemical reaction. We are discussing some of these. First one is the sentence form of a chemical reaction. This is the chemical reactions in a sentence. For example, when if we write this one, when magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it gets converted to form magnesium oxide. So this is the sentence form of chemical reaction. Another example is like solution of barium chloride and sodium sulfate in water reacts to give insoluble barium sulfate and the solution of sodium chloride. So this is again the sentence. Another way to write a chemical reaction, this is the word equation. In this form, we will write the name of substances which react and name of the substances which are formed in this way. Like in the first re reaction of sentence form, this can be written in the form of word equation, magnesium plus oxygen, this is the arrow mark, gives magnesium oxide. Like second reaction that is this one can be written, this one can be written in this form, barium chloride 
when reacts with the sodium sulfate this can be represented at barium chloride plus and this the aroma represent the change what are the changes going on so this will form barium sulfate and sodium chloride so this is called word equation but every time it is very difficult to write this word equation in sentence form that's why that's why if we represent these substances involved in the chemical reaction in the form of their symbols or formulas then that, that is known as the chemical equation so we can say chemical equation actually the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction in terms of symbols and formulae of reactants and products in the ninth class we have discussed about the symbols of elements and we also discussed how to write the formula of a compound so if we write the symbol or formula of the compounds then that is known as the chemical equation like this the first equation can be written this magnesium this is the symbol of magnesium mg this is the o2 this is the symbol of oxygen coming from the air and this from the magnesium oxide this is the formula of magnesium oxide so mg plus o2 gives mgo another example of the second reaction can be represented in the form of chemical equation like this barium chloride BaCl2 when reacts we will write the plus symbol sodium sulfate Na2SO4 and this gives barium sulfate and NaCl so this is chemical equation how to write these formulas barium chloride sodium sulfate barium sulfate and sodium chloride this we have discussed in the class 9th and these our these representations whatever we have written that is one and two these are known as the skeletal chemical equation because in these the number of atoms of each element on both sides is not same if you see like in this first equation in the this side there the two atom of oxygen but in the this side only the one atom of oxygen is there that's why this is only the skeletal chemical equation now we can say in these reactions or in the chemical equation you can identify reactants the substances that undergo chemical change in the reaction like in the first reaction we can say magnesium and oxygen these are known as reactants that is substances which undergo, undergo chemical change which take part in the chemical reaction these are known as reactants then products the new substances formed during the reaction this is known as product so again if you see the first reaction in that first reaction magnesium oxide is a product then again remember every chemical equation involves the reactants and products and these reactants and products are separated by the arrow mark now next one is again in the ninth class you discuss about the law of conservation of mass and according to this we can say mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction this you are familiar that's why you can say total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the element present in the reactant side that is mass of reactant should be equal to mass of products in other words you can say number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reactions that's why we need to balance a skeletal chemical equation and we will get the another form of right chemical equation that is known as the balanced chemical equation in this equation we can say that is if number of atoms of each element is same on both sides of equation then it is called balanced chemical equation like this case if we see this magnesium these are two atoms of magnesium are there and in this case this is two when we write before the formula it indicate that magnesium is twice and oxygen is also twice and in this case reactant side oxygen is two atoms are there so this is balanced on both the sides magnesium is two and oxygen is also two like in this case this is barium chloride Na2SO4 BaSO4 and NaCl you can say barium this is only the one atom is there this side is also one atom is there if you see the chlorine chlorine comes two times see in Cl2 chlorine is two times so when this is Cl and when this NaCl is multiplied by 2 we get Na is again 2 times and Cl is also 2 times so in atoms of sodium is 2 and chlorine is also 2 on the product side in the same way in the reactant side sodium is also in 2 atoms like Na2 in the same way you can say that it is sulfur and oxygen which are involved in this sulfate one atom of sulfur and four atom of oxygen these are in the reactant side 
in product side is also one atom of sulfur and four atom of oxygen that's why this is called balanced chemical equation now question arises how can we balance a chemical equation then guys this i will discuss in the next videos i hope you can understand whatever i have discussed today so say, view my video like it and subscribe it thanks